everyone. So now I will be discussing about my topic, which is Introduction to Pharmacy Informatics. Okay, so first, we have an outline for our discussion today. So we have the introduction, basically what is pharmacy informatics about. Then we have our learning activities, which is the historical foundations, core components, and applications of pharmacy informatics. Then we have the summary. So since this is just an introduction to the subject, this is just a simple and short presentation. So first off, what is pharmacy informatics? So drug and health informatics in pharmacy practice. So we all know that as pharmacists, one of the most fundamental responsibilities is provide medication and information. So the job of a pharmacist is usually dealing with medications, with drugs. And then with medications, with these drugs, there is information. And what do we do with that? We help patients understand this information about their medications and a way to make it easier to relay this information, to process this information, to have a collection of these medications, information, it is helpful if we integrate technology. So basically, pharmacy informatics is the integration of technology in the pharmacy practice. Okay, so some historical foundations, so some history of pharmacy informatics. So, okay, medical informatics, it first appeared in the 1960s in France. And in the U.S., there was a program. The first program appeared in the U.S. in the 1970s. And there's an organization for this, this American Society for Testing and Materials. So one of the earliest efforts took place under this organization okay. and the first informatic standards they develop laboratory message exchange e-health record systems and data content next is we have core components so what are the components of informatics or pharmacy informatics so we have people information and technology because people are the ones who relay information and we know that there is information everywhere now so how can we relay information conveniently and make use of these informations through technology with technology now everything is much more easier especially now if there's no technology like in our time of crisis if there's no technology we would be having a hard time communicating with others and managing data Next is, okay, so now that we know pharmacy informatics is the integration of technology in the pharmacy practice, what is the use? How is it applied in our practice? Okay, so pharmacy informatics in the pharmacy practice makes use of an information system. So what is an information system? It is a set of computer-based tools for collecting storing, and processing data. So as you can see here, there's a fixed picture of a pharmacy and a pharmacist. So as you can see there, she has a computer already. So, and when you go inside any pharmacy, you can see that they make use of computers now. What, does, what do these computers do? They collect, store, and process data. Collect data for the products, the medications, storing it, and processing it. So without pharmacy information system, what would happen? Or before, when there was still no technology, when everything was still manual labor. So without pharmacy information system, it will be time consuming. So like in pharmacies, there's an inventory system. So without it, it will be harder to locate, to do inventory. You will have manual labor, meaning if you're looking for this medication, you would still search for it. Oh, where is it placed? Uh, 
you will it will take time and then it will be inconvenient because you're doing things in a long process like inventory itself takes a long process and also uh, i placed a calculator there because if we have technology like those computers in the pharmacy which has softwares already um, computing for discounts like senior discounts or pw discounts it will easily compute it for you unlike without those softwares you will still manually calculate it you will still oh that 10 times etc to get your discount and that would take some time what if you accidentally mistype your price so it would also be prone to error next is however with pharmacy information system it will be convenient why why will it be convenient everything is already in the software you can see there from prescription gathering product listing etc it will all be there the inventory you can even put your inventory stock there doing inventory would be much easier so it would be you would be doing less labor it and then you will have an ease of monitoring because there's already a list of products you can check the prices there you can see where the storage of each medications are so what else so the pharmacy information system can be used to manage prescription for patients so it is for the prescription management so in a software in an information software you can already store prescription of the patients like a prescription book so a prescription book usually the fba looks for a prescription book so with this software you can already store patient prescriptions much easily so when prescription orders are also received the orders are matched to avail pharmaceutical products and dispense accordingly and again as i've mentioned earlier for inventory management so we know that pharmacy information makes it easier to do inventory why this system aid inventory management by maintaining internal inventory so by internal inventory means that there's already a list of stocks your inventory in the program itself so all there will be internal inventory of all pharmaceutical products providing alerts when the quantity of an item is below a set quantity so here you can already monitor if you have low in stock if there are products that needs to be refilled that needs to be thrown out already since it's expiring or if there's any products that need to be recalled you can already all see it in one software because of pharmacy all because of pharmacy information system so in short the summary what is pharmacy informatics so pharmacy informatics is the use and integration of data information knowledge technology and automation in the medication process for the purpose of improving health outcomes so basically as what i've said earlier informatics makes use of technology to make it easier to process data collect data of medicines which will improve also health outcomes so now i will be showing or demonstrating a pharmacy, an example of a pharmacy software that's being used here in community pharmacies in the philippines 